Hello, it's Athena here from Force 4 in Deacons. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about gloves and what sort of things you need to think about when choosing gloves, if you choose them. The two main things that people use to decide whether or not they want gloves are grip or warmth. Uh, then the grip uh, is, can be broken down into cruising and racing. Cruising uh, for holding the heavy mooring lines, halyards and uh, sheets. Um, and then racing, you need slightly more technical grip in them because the lines are stronger and thinner and can be quite coarse because it gives them better grip and better strength for a, a slimmer line, which reduces weight. Um, so those are those little considerations. Um, generally, uh, when you wear gloves that are going to get wet, so for the racing and the cruising, um, you quite often have them where they have uh, all fingers like this, but with your finger and forefinger and thumb cut off, so you can still do uh, rope work, tie knots, etc., uh, etc. Et so they will often come with a velcro to make them snug on the wrist. You make sure that they fit in your palm like this, and you can hold your hand. Uh, you want them to not be too loose at the ends. These are a good fit, actually. Um, they've got grip all across the palm and around there because obviously when the rope goes there you've got holding it. Um, so there's those which have finger and thumb cut off. Uh, you can also get uh, samples where they have no fingers, no fingertips covered at all. Uh, it gives you a greater range of movement. If you've got very long fingers then the finger gloves can be a little restrictive. Uh, so then you can get more technical with the grips. Uh, so for instance these gloves, they have different panelling of the grip, it goes round the side of the fingers more because of ropes going different angles um, and it helps you uh, with the wear factor. It's got them across the ends of your fingers so ropes don't, you've got good grip on them. Most of those types of gloves will have thin panelling on the back of your hand uh, like this one. Uh, because you don't need anything there because the grip is all in your palms and your fingers. Uh, but those don't keep you warm. Uh, it's quite a high, hard uh, line to merge. There's the warmth and the grip. Um, so quite often you would one or the other. But then when you want warm gloves uh, overnight when you're doing helming, uh, not so much racing uh, or rope work done at night, you kind of settle down and you're just watches and helmets so you want to stay warm uh, so you might choose the uh, helmsman glove it's a much bigger glove uh, it's got waterproof layers so you actually stay dry uh, it still has some grip in it but you can see that their gloves are slightly articulated for holding onto the wheel they have drawstring at the top to make sure you get that seal so water doesn't run down your wrist um, these ones even have a bit of belt to adjust so that you get a good snug fit um, and then lastly, you have uh, these ones, which are a bit of a compromise between the two. Um, they are made of neoprene, so you've got warmth in there, work exactly the same as a wetsuit, trap a small layer of water inside. Um, your hands are doing work, therefore it warms up the water and it keeps your hand warm, whilst also having some grip on the palm and the thumb. Obviously no finger or thumb cut off, so if you needed to do rope work, it'd be uh, a lot more tricky um, but if warmth is your main motivator for getting gloves uh, then these are a very good compromise. Um, obviously budget will often come into it but fit is the most important thing. You don't want to have uh, loose bits on the ends of your fingers and um, you don't want bunching in the palm of your hand uh, because that can cause blisters and it also stops you gripping the rope uh, very well um, which you're gripping the rope for a reason, you don't want it to slip. Uh, so yeah, so uh, that's a very brief oversight of gloves. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you could hit like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. If there's anything else you want me to talk you through, uh, mention in the comments. Thank you very much.